Hey everybody, this is Eric Miller from M&M 2023 uh, here in the Mega Booth, and I'm with Hate Them uh, from Oxford Instruments. And Oxford Instruments has a really interesting new detector that they released this year called the Unity. And Hate Them, can you tell me about the Unity? What is it, and what does it do? Yeah, sure. So um, Unity is uh, well, with Unity we introduce a new technique for SEM called BEX, so backscattered electron and X-ray imaging. Mm -hmm. So as, as we all know, uh, in SEM, for a very long time, the imaging, wall, imaging walls in gray level, uh, mainly secondary electrons or BSC signal, um, gives some indicative information about what's there, but we don't really know what's really there until we do some EDS analysis mm -hmm. to see the elemental information. Well, with BEX, uh, we get all that information live on the fly where, while we move around the stage. So um, it's basically converting the gray level image to a colored image, but colors that mean something. So we could immediately see the elements existing on the sample, and it's really changing the way people use SEM uh, on a daily basis. Because mm. with BSE, you're right, you're going to get Z contrast. Sometimes you can make an educated guess, but you don't really know. And there's no way to, to live view a live BSE image while also doing live EDS. You have to kind of do them both separately or at least not while the stage is moving, right? And so the Unity does, does both of these things simultaneously. Exactly. So Unity is a combined uh, BSC and X-ray detector that goes below the pole piece. So we collect the two signals uh, instantly, uh, at the same time, simultaneously. That's displayed. Um, and since, because we are on that such a geometry, we get um, a huge amount of X-rays, a high solid angle, and that allows us to go uh, to get that signal, make the best use of it, combined with BSC to get the, those sharp, nice images with elemental information. And uh, as you said, yeah, so people relied, usually we rely on our instinct following the BSC image, which mm -hmm. could be misleading sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's quite a, a sequential workflow using BSC where you move, you stop, you take a spectrum. Then if you got lucky, well, you will find what you're looking for for the first time. Otherwise, you will go into a, what we call the loop of suffering where you, <laughs> you, you repeat, you move around, you take a spectrum or you take a map and then you continue until you find what you're looking for. And, Yep. With Bex Unity, it's completely a different way of working. The other thing that, that really strikes me about this is the amount of signal that this detector is going to get off of the sample because it's so near the sample, it's right above the sample. And also, is this going to give us the normal shadowed image with, that you normally get with an EDS system? Yeah, exactly. So that, that, that's the other great advantage with this because unlike EDS, where it looks from the side of the sample, it has collimation, where you will have some shadowing, especially with uh, samples with high topography. Mm -hmm. You will not be able to see through holes, for example, or around particles. Uh, but with Unity, it's sitting just above the sample, so you get really a complete picture. Even particles sitting on the side of the sample, actually, or inside holes, could be fractures. Uh, we get the information from, from there as well, so it's not doesn't suffer from, uh, from shadowing, unlike EDS. So if somebody had already had an Oxford EDS system, for example, um, and they wanted to add a Unity system to that m microscope, can you do that, or do you have to remove the old EDS system first? No, so they, they can just retrofit, uh, add the Unity, so the EDS uh, stay there. And, and actually, both detectors communicate together. So to, to really give the best information to the, to the user, we use the EDS for reliable quant auto ID and the, the Unity for very quick mapping. And all they have to do, if, uh, if they have um, an XMAX N uh, or upwards uh, detector, so it could be XMAX N or the Ultim range or the Explore, all they have to do is to retrofit and add, add the Unity, basically. What, uh, so, sorry, do you guys have a website that people can yeah. find you at? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. So... Uh, Oxinst.com. Uh, Oxinst. Um, Ox, Oxinst, I N S T, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Ox, uh, com, And uh, we are in the nano analysis business of Oxford Instruments. And yeah, going to have more information on Unity, BX. Uh, we have 
some application notes as well available on the website for more details. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nathan. Uh, we've got more from M&M 2023 coming up. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.